Oh hi, didn't see you there. Today, we'll be doing 4.7 number 76 from the James Stewart Talk Textbook, 8th edition. Now available for purchase online. Anyways, I'm not sure if you can read the that tiny writing. But it says, a rain gutter is to be constructed from a metal sheet of width 30 centimeters by bending up one third of the sheet on each side through an angle theta. How should theta be chosen so that the gutter will carry the max amount of water? Well, we're going to be bending this 30 centimeter long sheet into what seems like a bucket rain gutter. Oh, and we'll be trying to maximize the amount of water it can carry, which is the area. And what you can already see here is that our, it looks like a trapezoid, which consists of our square and two triangles. So our area would be uh, base times the height of the square, plus, since we have two triangles, one half the base times the height of each triangle. So we have to rearrange everything in terms of theta. So our height of each triangle would be 10 sine theta because of the z formation that this, this can make here. And that means that our base of each triangle would be 10 cos theta. However, the base of the square doesn't change because it's a constant 10 centimeters here. And now we can plug in all of our numbers, 10, times 10 sine theta, since our height is the same for everything, plus 10 sine theta times 10 cos eh theta. And our twos just cancel out. And this would actually simplify to 100 sine theta plus 100 sine theta cos theta, and we can actually uh, bring, uh, factor out 100 from here. So we get sine theta plus sine theta cos theta. Oop, I ran out of room. So now we're going to take the derivative of the area. and. The derivative of sine theta is cos theta, and the derivative of cos theta is negative sine theta. So we get cos theta. sine squared theta into 1 minus cos squared theta. So then our area would be 100 times cos theta plus cos squared theta minus 1 minus cos squared theta. Yeah. And we would get 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta, oh, cos theta, minus 1. And from here, that. And from here we set our derivative equal to 0. And since 100 is a constant, it can't really equal 0. So we set our whole function in here equal to 0. And it's actually a quadratic, so you can factor, you can factor it to make it even easier. Uh, so it's 2 cos theta minus 1 times cos theta plus 1. And we can solve each equation individually for 0. And we, and we would get a theta of pi over 3 for this first one. And we would get a theta of pi. So now we can set our angle uh, 
in our area to the endpoints, which in which theta is equal to zero, pi over three, and pi, back into our original area equation of 100 sine theta plus 100 sine theta cos theta. But if we sub in a theta of zero, sine theta is equal to zero, so we would get zero here. And sine theta is equal to zero, so we would get zero here. And same with uh, angle of pi. So that leaves us with an angle of pi over three. And when we sub in that, we get 100 times root three over two plus 100 root three over two times one over two. And uh, you can simplify this answer if you want, but basically that's how you solve this, this question. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and to like and subscribe this video. See you next time.